Well, we have our Lifetime Achievement Award recipient of this year, Mr. Ed Phillips from uh, Matthews. Ed started 40 years ago in this industry, and uh, he started at, uh, actually his first job was on Star Trek, uh, and who Star Trek just came out. It's been a while. Uh, early on, Phillips was working as a lighting technician. Uh, he moved very quickly and opened up his, at age 20, he opened up his first company, Wayne Co. At 71, he joined Matthews. And very soon after, purchased the company. Phillips earned two Academy Awards, a Technical Achievement Award in 82 as part of a team <laughs> that like manufactured the toilet crane. And the Scientific Engineering Award in 85 as part of a team that developed the Camry model. Ladies and gentlemen, Ed Phillips. Thank you very much. Uh, you know, when I received this phone call a couple of days ago to uh, advise me that I was the recipient of this year's very prestigious uh, Lifetime Achievement Award, I went silent for a few moments on the phone and the caller said, Ed, are, are you okay? Is there anything wrong? I said, Lifetime Achievement, does that mean it's over? <laughs> I certainly hope not. I still have kids and they need shoes, you know? Um, but this industry has been really good to me. Uh, I remember when I, my very first day, Dragon Cable and big heavy lights up the, the back mountain at Universal to movie sets which uh, are now where Universal City Walk stands and I thought there's got to be an easier way. So that led to my first company where I began manufacturing lightweight arc lights and to the dismay of the Parkers and the Moore Richardson Company, I actually sold them. I sold them to Universal and Paramount, Warner Brothers and others. And then I gave up the lighting business and I went into building century stands. Everybody should have a century stand, please. Uh, and developed the first spring-loaded folding century stand and then came the jib arms and the, the dolly track and overhead and butterfly frames and you know, it's amazing what somebody can do with a fistful of nuts and bolts. I'll tell you, it's amazing. But the industry has been great. I, I am so grateful. I am so honored. Um, I'm not that old. Uh, <laughs> and there are some thank yous that, that must be made. Um, first, of course, to Carl and Julianne and Cindy Gear. I thank you very much. I'm very honored. To this industry that provided me all these opportunities, to the people I've employed, the hundreds or thousands over all these many years with whom I've had the pleasure of working. And of course, uh, those who are here tonight, Bob and, and Linda and Pam and Lone and, and Stephanie and Andrea and uh, Rick. Rick says I fired him 14 times over the last 25 years. Rick, I counted it. It was only 12 times I fired you. Um, and then my wife who's been on this roller coaster ride with me Norma I thank you for your support and then when you talk about achievement you know lifetime achievement probably the two biggest achievements in my life have been my children my daughter Emily my son Tyler and finally to you if this were a popular vote I know you would have all voted for me <laughs> And so I thank you very, very much. Carl, are the drinks now free? They're free. The drinks are on me. Uh, and I want to thank you very much. I'm very humbled with this award. Thank you. Congratulations, Ed.
Oh my god!